And let's talk about the stadiums because we've <laughs> got to talk about yeah, the stadium. So sure. what's your reaction to the brand new stadium uh, that San Diego State will call home beginning a week from now? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, with the little bits of pieces that I've seen of it, it's a beautiful stadium. It, it's modern. It's it's going to bring the Aztec program up to a new level. What a great recruiting tool, um, not just for football, but for all the sports. I know this is the time of the year they bring the basketball recruits to football games, but something that the city of San Diego really take pride in. I mean, this looks like to be a real jewel. Uh, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'll sign that memo. I will tell you that the health of your city is based on the facilities that you have to offer the public. And we got the shiny thing at Petco Park, which has just become a gem downtown. And what's that meant to the Gaslamp Quarter in the East Village? Now we got this college football stadium is the beginning of the expansion of the SDSU Mission Valley portion of the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, I went for a tour with the media this past week. Uh, it's snazzy. It's only 35,000. But John, there's not a bad seat in the house. I don't care if you're in a skybox where you got to pay a lot of money to sit mm -hmm. or you're on the top row, you are right on top of the field. The way they designed this has just been spectacular. It's steep. It's almost like an overhang on the field. You are right on top of all the action. You're sitting in the end zone, but because it's a close stadium, great sight lines in any direction. I was fascinated by it. Is it an NFL stadium? No. Does it have those kind of skyboxes? No. Right. It's a really snazzy college football stadium. And I, I give a tremendous amount of credit to J.D. Wicker, the director of athletics, because think about this. They started planning for this in 18 and 19. They started the construction and they got whacked by the pandemic. They did <laughs> yeah, they not. Did. They did not have shortages in terms of material because everything had been pre-ordered. Oh, uh, yeah. They got a tremendous break on the debt load because mm -hmm. they negotiated at much lower interest rates. They had over 12 to 1500 workers fully employed, taking down the old stadium, landscaping everything, putting the new stadium up. They got it built under cost, 310 million on time in the middle of a pandemic. Think yeah, about that. Yeah, so that's something. A lot of credit. This, this is, this is a, a gold medal, I think, goes on the resume of the director of athletics, J.D. Wicker. It'll be fun to see. They open with Arizona. Aztecs have a really tough football schedule. We'll talk more about that next week in our podcast. But uh, this is pretty impressive. And the other thing that's unique, you know, when you, you go to old Qualcomm Stadium, even when you go to Petco Park, it's kind of like a big cement place. Mm -hmm. This thing is open aired. Nice. This thing, this thing has wind that blows through it because it's. It was almost like it's been put together in an erector set. Here's one sideline. Here's the end zone. Here's the other sideline. Here's the other end zone. There's open spaces, so it'd be fascinating to see how the wind plays there. You're not sitting in a bowl surrounded by fans and cement. So. Well, they were saying that in the scrimmage, the wind played a role. In, in the punting, the kicking, the throwing game. So, yeah, this is going to be a totally different experience for yeah. the players and the fans. A unique home field advantage, uh, the weather elements. And I, I give credit because Brady Hoke and San Diego State, think about this, they played two years on the road. They have not had a home game since pre-pandemic, have not played a home game since 2019 because they played two years up in Carson. Mm -hmm. As good as this program has been, it's had no home field advantage. So that's that will be interesting to see. I think the community will love it. It'll be interesting to see what kind of edge San Diego State gets.